Hi guys, welcome to Travel with Austin. I'm Austin. Today we are here in Niagara Falls, Canada, and we are going to be taking a look at the Niagara Falls Power Station. Now this is a historic former power station right on the falls that for over a hundred years produced electricity for the region, of course, based on hydroelectricity. Now this old power station is available to be toured. You can come in and see the generator hall that we're currently in right now. There is also a cafe slash um, shop here. There are Tesla coil demonstrations. And of course, there is the tunnel at Niagara Parks, which takes you almost 200 feet underneath the power station and into an almost half mile long tunnel that goes through to the base of the falls and you can get a one of a kind view. Now I am making some separate videos about the tunnel. Today we are just gonna focus on the generator hall, which as you can see, we are walking through. It is big and beautiful. Now this was in operation until 2006, after being built in the early 1900s. Um, by 1904, it was ready to be used, but did not start being used until 1905. And even though it did shut down in 2006, for about three years after it was shut down, it was primed to be used again, just in case the need arised. But after about three years of not needing it, it did permanently shut down. Now, these blue turbines that you're seeing were actually based on designs and patents by Tesla. Tesla is very important to the region, and that is why um, there are actually statues of him in this region, and as we will see in a bit, there is a Tesla coil in here and some placards about him. Now, even though we are in the generator hall, there are several floors beneath us of old equipment. Sadly, we cannot access this old equipment, and it is just sitting rotting away. However, if you do take the elevator down to the tunnel, which is included in your tour, you will actually see some of it as the elevator walls are glass. Now we can also see these huge doors that would have been in operation at one point. And then there are things such as the tunnel to the side of us that were added for photo ops. And again, can see we have an overhead um, moving box type crane thing and you can take a look at some of these details like these huge windows off to the side which are amazing and then we have other pieces of historical equipment lying around it really is such a cool experience now it does cost around $35 Canadian to get in which is a bit expensive but it's definitely worth it since you get both the generator hall and the tunnel. Now, that is for the self-guided tour where you can read the plaques and you also can get a free audio tour. Now for about $42, you can get a guided tour. Here is one of the Tesla coils. I'm not sure if the actual lightning showed up on camera, but basically you can turn on the Tesla coil and insert your hand. There's also a much larger one that they do demonstrations with sometimes, but unfortunately they were temporarily closed while we were here. Um, you can see we have some information about Tesla, and of course we're going to take a look at some of the machinery up close again. Overall, I think this place is a great experience. It is kind of steep in the price, but I personally think it is worth it because you get to come in here, you get to see this amazing old power station and then you get to go on a one-of-a-kind experience in a tunnel almost 200 feet underground to basically the base of Horseshoe Falls and there are some great views down there I would definitely recommend checking out that video when it comes out so yes this is the power station at Niagara Falls it is recently opened, I believe it opened in 2021, and the tunnel did not open until 2022. Now this is, of course, the daytime tour. There is also a nighttime tour 
where they use um, projected lights, um, and I believe they call them like projected mapped lights, to kind of bring the space alive in a whole new way. Unfortunately, I did not get to experience that, but I saw some videos of it and it does look very interesting. Now here is kind of the cafe slash store area where there's also just kind of a lot of sitting space over here. And something that is really neat that we're coming across up here is you can actually see where the water would have flowed in and out. And there's actually some fish in here. Um, I'm not sure if he's in the video. But there was actually a very large fish. There he is. There was a very large fish while I was filming who was just kind of hanging out and chilling. Overall, this is such an interesting place to go visit, and I highly recommend it. But that is all I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. And I will see you guys next time with a brand new video. Thanks for watching.